I'm currently anchored in Madeira. It's a lovely sunny day here, as it is most mornings. Uh, but in the afternoon, normally a little bit of swell comes in and you get some sort of thick cloud cover. It's actually been a real problem because my solar panels haven't been able to keep up with the charging whilst I've been here. But none of that matters today as I'm about to weigh anchor and head over to Lanzarote. When I get to the Canarias, I'm going to be meeting up with some old friends, sharing a few stories. But my main reason for going there is to really prep the boat and sort everything out before doing a solo Atlantic crossing. I'm currently between uh, Madeira and Iles Desertes. We've had a little bit of weather. It's about 21 knots now, but it's been up to 30, 35. And we've had waves from the beam, a few of them sort of breaking over the boat, but nothing too out of the ordinary. At the moment, I've just got the stay sail up and a reefed uh, main and doing about five and a half knots so it's not too bad I'm expecting expecting the wind and the waves and that to calm down a little bit after I get from in between the islands got some deep fried chicken with some orange a little bit of chili there and some sweet and sour pork with vegetables and I did just boil some noodles to have with it as well. So I'm definitely going to be well fed for this part of the journey at least. The wind's died down a little bit now so probably time to get out some more Genoa. bit more winching. It's triple reef so the shape is ugly as hell but as I say I don't really need to go much faster it's just for a little bit of balance. After getting out a bit of the Genoa for balance we're somewhere around six, five and a half to six and a half knots. The autopilot is a little bit happier. It's still needing to correct a little bit to starboard but mostly it's all right. Probably be able to get that repaired in Lanzarote. If not, I'll have to get my uh, speedy stitcher out and yeah, try my hand at it. Should be all right. I've actually got a spare, um, a spare laminate at Genoa. Um, when I do the Atlantic, I'm hoping to just have uh, twin Genoas and barely even use the main at all, unless I need sort of a little bit of balance or something. So I'm not too concerned about that, it's mostly superficial. If the Chinese was a late lunch, then I suppose this is an early dinner. Just a bit of pasta, some garlic bread, some cheese, and hopefully that'll see me through the night. We've been going nine hours or so and done 53 miles, almost 54 miles, so the pace is pretty good, I'm happy with that. The sun's about half an hour off from setting, so we'll go out and have a look at that in a moment. Uh, 
Ah, oh, it's about 4 a.m. I've had a little nap, but you know, it's it's never enough. Um, just you know, taking a look around, it is so dark out there. It is just pitch black. The, there's no moon at all to speak of, and you know, any stars that there were are just completely covered by a thick cloud now. I mean, it is it's just darker than the darkest night. I half expect to look out there and see Christian Bale in full costume just strutting around the decks or something. It's just craziness. Anyway, I just, uh, just got up really to reef the Genoa a bit. We're now doing just over five knots. I reefed it mostly for comfort, but it hasn't affected our speed, so that's all good. Uh, the wind is steady, around 20 knots or so. And yeah, that hasn't been, hasn't been a bad first night so far. It's day two. We're about halfway into the journey now. We've done 138 miles in the past 24 hours. So that's not bad going. The wind's still roughly about 20 knots. And uh, we're just cruising along just as we were last night. The night was pretty uneventful. I didn't really get any footage though because it was just, as I said earlier, it was just like absolutely pitch black out there. There was no moon, it was just like the sky was blanketed with complete darkness. Uh, this morning again it's a little bit cloudy, which isn't great for charging. I strategically ran the engine for a little while just to help um, recharge the batteries. We were about 100 and 150 amp hours down on those. But other than that there's not really much to report. The boat's just cruising along, the waves are um, just a little bit aft of the beam now. It's still a little bit rolly, so I haven't really left the cockpit much. I let out a tiny bit more Genoa, just to move us along. And that's all. Probably the next update will be around lunchtime. It's set behind a cloud, so there's nothing interesting to see there. No green flash or anything like that. I'm about to go and make some dinner and possibly have a nice hot shower. But um, before I do that, I'll show you guys how I managed to keep a watch. I have a radar set up. I have guard zones on that radar and if a ship or anything that reflects a radar signature, enters that zone, I get a, an audible alarm and also you know a lot of um, the old commercial vessels and a lot of pleasure craft now all have AIS and I can pick up their AIS signature that broadcasts where the ship is, which direction it's traveling in 
and depending on what settings I've put um, as to, you know, it sends an alarm as to whether it's going to be a danger or not. Here you can see my, uh, my nighttime setup. I got my sleeping bag there. I got the uh, obviously the chart plotter and everything's all, all there. And I always have a book on the go. It's the woman in the window at the moment. Little snack there and, and my water. I find that if I'm here, it's really easy to have a short little nap, wake up, stick my head out have a look around see if there's anything on the horizon if not uh, you know go back to sleep I can get up check various things on the boat make sure nothing's chafing make sure everything's in order and again just you know, just nod off for a little while rest for the wicked they say huh I was just about to you know try and get a little bit of rest or something and uh, had a look at had a look outside I could see one light well a light or so in the distance and then all of a sudden like these three cargo ships popped up on AIS I could only see the one with my eye anyway that's about eight miles away but he's going about 16 knots and he's going to pass relatively close uh, within a mile. The other two are pretty far away. They're not likely to bother me, but I have to keep an eye out for them now. So um, yeah, there goes, uh, there goes that little bit of rest for, for a while and, until this passes. So we're into the third day of the journey now. The sun rose about an hour or so ago. The winds died down, so I'm gonna need to adjust the sails a bit, but uh, more importantly, land ho! Yeah, that's right, baby. We can see some of the islands now, so that's great. I mean, I'm sure there's a whole song and dance and things that goes with that, but I'll spare you that for now. There is a... A slight problem I need to address. I went to start the engine earlier today just to give the batteries a bit of a boost before solar kicks in and yeah I found that the alternator belt is just completely shredded so I need to sort that out preferably before we get closer to land but also because we're about 180 190 amp hours into the into the battery bank now it's a 450 amp hour bank and in reality you can only use you know um, 40 to 50 percent of that and we are getting a bit low so yeah I'm gonna go and take care of that now the new belts on so that's all looking good I also topped up with a little bit of oil now let's see how she starts. knots and you know, there's no point really pushing on at 
two knots or so in that. So um, yeah, started up the engine, getting a bit of charging going, and we're getting close. We're just about to enter Spanish waters, so I need to go and sort out the flag. Just a little update, it's 49 hours now since I left the anchorage in Madeira. I'm super close to Lanzarote, I, I mean, you can almost reach out and touch the land. So I think now that the wind's dropped to about six knots, it's time to fill the sails in and then just motor all the way to the anchorage. arrived at the anchorage, just dropped anchor in about five and a half meters of water. There is a sort of two and a half meter tide, so take into account that. Uh, in total the journey was 50 hours from Madeira and we did like 272 miles or something like that. Right, so yeah, that's about it. I'm off to get some pizza. Be refreshing after a couple of hours, huh? a couple of days even. So here we go. <laughs> 